but Acuna has been very smart to get the overhand right in first so that Riker can't throw the hook. Acuna comes in 0 and 1 as a professional boxer, but she has a lot of experience in kickboxing. 17 1 and 1 record. Riker is making a fundamental error that sometimes she makes in that. She got hook, tagged again. Good left by Acuna. She is not bending at the waist when she throws the hook. She's standing too straight up and getting no leverage in those punches. And now they send that's not a Riker. knockdown. Yeah, no, that's well, that's terrible. You know what? Acuna's knee hit the canvas, though. Well, I don't know. It, I, hit, it hit the canvas. Well, I don't know if it came from a punch, though. Well, I, that was one I'd like to see a replay on. Referee Johnny Callis. And I'll bet you if I really twist the arm of our producer, John Francis, he'll give us one. Oh, Acuna, okay. meanwhile, is the one coming forward. She wants to show it wasn't a knockout. They, bla they bang heads there. So the plot is definitely thickening here. You see, Riker is not letting her punches flow like we've seen before. She's a little tight. She's got a little mouth, so under her mm -hmm. left eye, courtesy of those overhand rights by Acuna. Not Acuna getting there with both lead rights and left. Come to the end of round number four. And another right hand from Acuna. Well, good round number four for Marcella Acuna. Was she knocked down or was she not? Let's check out the replay, Al, and take a look. Well, let's take a look and see what happened here. Here is Riker. No, that's a push. That is not a punch. That is a push. Terrible call. And the referee was in perfect position to see that. That's an awful call. Let's take a look at it again. And I thought it was when it was... In, see, she's just pushing her. She... She's pushed. That is not a punch. That punch barely landed on the arm. She did throw a punch, but it was more of a push when she threw it. This is the best angle. No, you can't call that. A, a, she's cupping her and pushing her down. That's an atrocious call by on that, on that knockdown. And there's no way oh, she's she knocked so How do you score that? I made it a 10-10 round because of that. I have to agree because Acuna had the better of the action. She won the round. She won a 10-9. And that's a shame that they would try and take that away from her. Yeah, you're right. It was a cupping shot that sort of hit Acuna in the shoulder. And it was more of a push. Now here comes Riker on the attack. Hey, Acuna came here to fight. She came here to try and win this bout. Just like she did against Christy Martin. She said, I don't care about recognition or name factor or clipping. And I'll tell you what, Acuna, you know, she ought to try sometimes facing somebody else that isn't at the absolute top of women's boxing. She probably would get herself eight or nine wins in there. Now, there's a nice right hand by Riker. Now, big power right hand now. She's getting the right hand more than the hook. And she's throwing that punch better is Lucia Riker. She senses urgency here. Even though she got the benefit of that knockdown, she oh, good luck comes downstairs by Riker. Now, this is usually about the time in a fight, the third, fourth, fifth round, when Riker loosens up and we see it happening. Good feeling that power, I think, now. There's a beautiful hook by, by Riker. We thought Akuna had a very good round number four despite the... Oh, uh, questionable knockdown call, but let's not forget Riker did win the first three rounds in our opinion. And the power of Lucia Riker becoming a huge factor now. She is really starting to hurt Akuna with the hooks and the straight right hand. There's the jump. There's the hook to the body. And what did Riker do? She bent at the waist when she threw that punch. Let go of Marcel. Let go. Let go. The Bacon WIBO Super Lightweight Championship. Vicious left hook by Riker to the body. Now she's making something happen. You know, the Chicago Cubs fighting for their playoff lives. Tied with the Mets. A one-game lead over the San Francisco Giants in the subplot. And Acuna goes down. Here near the end of round number five. Sink from a left to the body. Seis. Siete. Count at seven. Ocho. Cannot be saved by Nueve. the bell in any round. Yes. And that is it. Acuna is ruled out at the end of round five. And Lucia Riker is now 12 and 0 with 11 knockouts. Riker, Riker found the clue with the left hook to the body, and that was really what did it. Lucia Riker found the hook with the left hook to the body. The clue is how to win, and it's exactly how she did it. And 
Marcelo Acuna is still down. Oh, I mentioned that the Cubs, the Mets, and the Giants are battling for the National League wild card spot. Plus, you have the subplot of the home run race. For an update on Sammy Sosa, we send it back to ESPN News. Welcome to those of you watching on ESPN News and ESPN2. History has been made by Sammy Sosa in Houston. Off Jose Lima here in the fourth inning. The Cubs and the Astros home run number 66 for Sammy. No doubt about it as he finds that upper deck. The second time that he has held the home run lead all by himself. This season, again, he hit that off of Jose Lima. The Cubs and the Astros tied up at two apiece in the fourth. Mark McGuire has not homered tonight. We will keep you up to date. <laughs> so well, Sammy Sosa's 66th home run gives the Cubs a tie with Houston and Al let's take a look at Lucia Riker finishing Marcelo Cuna. well meanwhile back to the event we're supposed to be covering here is Lucia Riker throwing body shots and I mean really good body shots that was about the fourth one in this round that landed to the body of Acuna and as as we were relating the story to you it became a very big issue that Lucia Riker figured out what to do to win this bout and she did it very effectively well Marcella Acuna very good accounting for herself her two losses as a professional boxer to Christy Martin and Lucia Riker for the official time of the stoppage here's our ring announcer Mark Biro ladies and gentlemen the time, two minutes, two seconds of the fifth round. The winner by knockout and new WIBO super lightweight champion of the world, Lucia Riker. Riker. So Lucia Riker wins the vacant WIBO super lightweight championship, stopping Marcella Acuna in round number five. Riker now 12-0 with 11 knockouts well still to come terry norris against dana rosenblatt and former olympian and former ibf junior middleweight champion raul marquez makes his return to the ring tonight against shabata flores all that much much more including al bernstein's ringside report as we return to espn 2's friday night fights after this time out on the deuce